Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Iron Fish. This is a 43% ABV, no age statement, bourbon that has been finished in maple syrup barrels. Now, Iron Fish is a newer distillery in Michigan. I say newer, I think they opened up in 2018. Uh, and you can only really find it in Michigan. I think they started expanding into Illinois, if I remember reading on the website. I can't find it in Indiana, even near the state line, which really surprised me. Um, I had to go into Michigan to find this. And I'm going to read the back of it here real quick, just to kind of give you an idea what they do. And for purposes, this is batch number 61. So what they ended up doing is they took their blend of corn rye and malted barley. Uh, they put that into American oak barrels, and then they steeped the barrels in their neighbor's maple syrup, which is the grinder family. Uh, so they, they take those barrels, they steep them in the maple syrup, and then throw their whiskey back into it. We don't know for how long, but um, but yeah, uh, it was one of those interesting things that I seen on the shelf, and I'm not a huge maple fan, but I was like, all right, I'm going to give you guys a shot. Uh, so as always, we're going to try it two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water. See what happens. Um, keeping it at 43% really surprised me. Usually a lot of your maple finish things don't go that high. Usually they stay at 40s or less from what I've seen. And I love this bottle shape. That is an awesome bottle. Um, I did have this about a week ago with a friend and we tried it out. And I also have a bottle of their four cask blend, which I'll be doing when that's live. I'll uh, link it up above and down below. And as long as if I happen to find any of their others, they do like Imperial Stout casks, which I always love. Mezcal, um, Sherry, I think they do a Cognac as well. But I love the color. Got a little golden tinge to it, a little red in there. All right, let's go for notes. Mmm. So you do get a bit of the oak on there, obviously. It's very subtle in the maple syrup, but it does have this almost, you have to have fresh, true maple syrup. Not Mrs. Buttersworth, not your processed ones, like your 100% fresh maple syrup. And you get just a little bit of that on the nose. It's a little sweet, but earthy. I love the oak in there. The corn does show up maybe a tad bit. Just a little bit. You do get a bit of barley in there too. But the nose is nice. That sweetness is helping cut it just enough to make it a little different than what you're probably used to. And that's, again, what I think I enjoy about this nose. Without that maple syrup, I think it would just be either too common or just go meh. But that is just given enough of a character difference to really stand out. Yeah. Let's go for taste. Mmm. Get a little bit of spice on there. A little bit of oak. It's got almost a thicker viscosity on the taste. And then here, here at the finish, you get this little bing of maple it's not heavy handed but it's just there enough mm. but it's got a good mouthfeel to it I jokingly told my wife you could part of this over pancakes I feel like and they would probably make some pretty damn good pancakes so you get a little bit of an earthy sweetness bit of grain here the oak shows up you're kind of met with a little bit more of the, the uh, rye, almost like a rye spice quality here in the center. But it's like cinnamons and nutmeg and just softness going on. And then ping at the end here, a little bit of maple sweetness, sends you home. Got a good mouthfeel to it. Honestly, at four, and they do this at cast strength too, and I would love to try that. Because it's got just a really solid mouthfeel to 43%. And I would be so curious to try that at the cast strength as well. Mm. 
again that it, it is if they would take out that maple barreling i think it would just be like oh yeah it's a good bourbon it's not out changing anything different but that bourbon and that well seasoned steeping to it gave it just enough of a character difference to make me go i like what you're doing mm. love that all right let's try a little bit of water see what changes up Yeah, and I love their bottling. I love the shape, the design of it. Looks really cool. Love the decals on the front. Mm. Even in the finish still, I'm still getting that nice light maple and oak going on. This is really good. Let's go for notes. Goes a little lighter but it's actually not too much different. If anything, it goes a little sweeter. More of a sugary sweetness now. ABV does show up just a tad bit more. It may be a little bit of rye, like a rye spice quality going on there, a little bit stronger as well. Let's go for taste. The metallic shows up a little bit, but that maple really pops now. That maple syrup shows up at the beginning, the middle, the end, the after party, the next morning. It is it is clung to you right now. It is it almost sticks to the tongue. So you get a little metallic, but then you get oak, spice, that maple. And then that maple just claws on for dear life here. And it's not a bad thing. I think it does a really good job. That it gets a little metallic, but it's not off-putting enough for me to criticize it too much. Mm. I could definitely, after tasting out the water, say this would probably be really damn good in cocktails. I think they do an old fashioned with this one on their website, if I remember right. I can see that being really damn good. Mm. Because it holds up very well with that little bit of water. And I didn't put a lot in my glass. So, beans that it can do that with that, I could see this standing out very well in a mixed drink. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always going to vary. Pick this up for just shy of 40 bucks. And honestly, yeah, I think that's about where it lives. Um, you know, it's craft to a certain extent because they are a new distillery pretty small area from what I can see of really far away from me unfortunately I'd love to drive up to visit them might have to make a day trip or a weekend trip up there because I'll tell you what this is really darn good stuff and if this is leading me into what their forecast blend is their mezcal and some of their other barreling offerings I can see a pretty bright future for these guys I really hope they keep doing what they're doing I hope they do well because and keep this consistency because this is really darn good if you're in the michigan area i definitely recommend giving them a try um if you're not and you're traveling through stop at a few places i am seeing more and more little stores actually pop up that actually are carrying these guys try it out it's 40 bucks ish um the other bottlings like the mezcal one goes up to 70 dollars, and i don't know about that yet but at 40 bucks it's definitely worth a buy in my book so yeah, there you have it. Iron Fish Bourbon finished in maple syrup barrels. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirit I should go looking for, also let me know down below. I'm always on the hunt for something unique and fun to try. And as always, may your last trick of the night be the best one.